two-tailed test and to look at the uh, case of a proportion. And so let's hopefully we can get get all that in the next example. So here we're testing the uh, proportion. Alright, this gets us a two-tailed test and hopefully gets us the uh, fail to reject case as well. Alright, so reading through you see that you got percentages, so you know you're working with a proportion, so let's put P's in the test. And from the wording it says, uh, performs a hypothesis test to determine if the percentage is the same or different from 50%. So that tells you that it's a not equal to case, right? The same is the null, or different, just being different could be greater than, could be less than, that is the alternative case. So we want the not equal to symbol. And, uh, and from 50% tells us that we want 50% uh, here. All right. So this is a two-tailed test. And with these, we're we using the normal distribution. And the reasoning has to do with the um, sample size and the value of P. Um, so you'd have to check that the uh, variance of this distribution was greater than 10. Um, but more or less, we're not going to be looking at any proportion test that won't use the normal distribution. So we'll say normal distribution since it's a proportion test with large sample size. Right? We didn't look at any small sample sizes. All right, uh, level of significance in this one is 1%, so we're going to do 0 0.01. And the uh, sample statistics will have a um, sample proportion. And so that'll be a P, so we're using P prime. And uh, sample size is 100. And then we'll have a calculated p-value. Okay. So let's go to the calculator and put this in there. We go to stat and tests. And this time we go to number 5, one prop z-test. And we put in the... 0.5, the number from the hypothesis, put that at the top, and then your sample size is 100, and then we need the number of successes, which is 53. So we know our sample proportion is 0.53. Then select the first one, that's for the two-tailed test, and then have it calculate that. So this tells us the sample proportion and the p-value. Now there's two p's when you do this. So watch, the p-hat with the little carrot on top, that's the sample proportion. Um, that's a common notation is to use a p-hat. Uh, the regular p with nothing on top, that's your p-value. So 5, 4, and here it's, you know, they're both decimals, so they're, they can be confusing. 5485 is what we'll use. And so you know already that uh, P is greater than alpha, so we will fail to reject. So this is great, we get to see everything. And we'll draw it. And you see the test is drawn. You can see those tails are really big, that's clearly more than one percent. In fact, it's about half of the whole area, right? So the p-value is the area of those two tails. So 
So we fail to reject the null hypothesis since P is greater than alpha. Uh, so the sample data fails to support the claim. And we'll go back to the claim um, that the that the percentage of first-time brides in the United States um, younger than their grooms is different from 50 percent. So let's see, let's put that in there. Percentage of first-time brides in the U.S. that are younger than their grooms is different from 50 percent. So even though we had a sample that was different from 50 percent, it wasn't different enough. So we don't have enough evidence to, uh, to say that it actually is different. All right, and that would uh, wrap it up. All right, and I'll post this uh, document for you to be able to look at.